name is Nathan Kishik. Um, I manage the Cape Croker Park and the uh, Zaboticon uh, maple syrup operations here in Neya Shingniming. Zaboticon was identified in our forest management feasibility study and then again in our forest management plan. And it identified this location specifically as uh, that would be good for uh, maple syrup. And of course our people had known this for a while and various families from the par different parts of the reserve would come over to this area and uh, make their maple syrup. Everybody had a little spot where they would set out and build their little shelters and uh, places to make their fires and the trees that they were going to be responsible for. And the community at large used to do this. When the park was formed, a lot of that stuff uh, started to stop. It's always been an idea of mine to, to try and do a commercial maple syrup operation. We're heading into our sixth year of operation, 4,500 taps, and I think hopefully we can add some more at some time. We're getting down to our last three barrels. We, had, we ended up the season with around 37 barrels of uh, maple syrup. That's uh, just about a little over 4,500 litres and uh, we're just about finished bottling. I've been bottling about twice a week all summer long. So this is where the raw sap comes through. We have a vacuum pump outside. The blue unit back there is our extractor and these two vats are uh, 2,500 gallons each. And the corner is our reverse osmosis in the back room. And that's where our syrup or our sap is coming in at around maybe 2%. So by running it through the reverse osmosis, we bring that up and concentrate it to about 8.5%. That takes about 75% of the water out of the raw sap. And then upstairs, we have two 1,250 vats. One would be our concentrate and the other would be our uh, just pure water. And then from our concentrate tank, the concentrated sap flows down in here and this is like a preheating in this section so it feeds by gravity and then our back pan the evaporation process is really starting to happen there so it pre-warms it and then when it gets into here it gets warmer and or it gets uh, thicker and thicker and thicker and then by the time we're at this section uh, we want that sap to be at very close to 66 percent so it's almost the finishing product and then we can do our draw offs and we put them into this this unit here and this is our um, final boiling unit and that's where we can do all the testing on that to make sure we're going to hit that 66 percent mark so it's good to have it uh, a little bit higher so 66.5 is is good and we don't want to get it too high because then your sap will start to crystallize some people say that a couple percentage doesn't matter but um, for us we try to make sure that we're going to stay in that 66 percent range on this side of our uh, evaporator room i have our shelves stocked with uh, uh, one liters we, we happened to get a, a into a barrel of dark the other day now we're back into amber uh, 500 mil 375s 250s quartz 500s and uh, 100 mil maple leaf yeah I'm excited to get finished there i gotta check my syrup <laughs> yeah so we're ready to start we're ready to start right there just this unit itself just uh, made things a lot more um, efficient for us, being able to bottle in different sizes than just by changing the settings on this. We're able to do sometimes up to a barrel a day in here, but that's, that's a long day too. We're still learning as we go along, keep trying.